Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome to Moto Aftermath Show reaction video here. So this is immediate race reaction here. And this is gonna be the first of hopefully many that we are going to do this year. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, before we jump into this, just wanna thank our sponsors. So TLR Coatings, uh, Complete Racing Solutions, Isaac Nelson Designs, Gutterworks, Holster Co, all on board with us here. And me and Justin are here. We've been hanging out all afternoon. We've watched practice, we've watched the race. Uh, if you want some commentary, for qualifying we watched second qualifying sessions and did like a live show on it which we will be doing for at least the next uh three rounds here moving forward so make sure to go check that out it is in the live section on uh the youtube page here but anyway we are here to do a reaction this is immediate reaction after the race we've just watched it we have no research on it this is just immediate thoughts like short video that we're just going to talk through a few of the things that we uh, we kind of saw here. So first off, we're going to start with Jet, gets the win, first 450 Supercross, first win, and the 17-0 and wow. streaks alive. First 450 Supercross. LA didn't have whoops, didn't count. This is our first Supercross no, race okay, there, whatever. partner. However you want to put it, it didn't matter. It's first Supercross race stadium, here, partner. You're in a stadium, it's the SMX shit, it's Supercross. We didn't have whoops. It didn't count. Uh, but it doesn't matter. The 17-0 and 0 streak's still alive, which means tomorrow when we film the main show, mm. you guys are going to have to listen to me talk about how we're going to go 17-0 and 0 for three fucking hours. That's cool. Uh, no, I, I don't put a lot of stock into A1. It's crazy. We don't know where the bike's set up. Boot camp, you know, you kind of can guesstimate, but A1's always different. A lot of nerves. Um, like I just said, if, if somebody would have told me with a crystal ball after first practice that that was what was going to happen as far as results go i'm gonna be like yeah i could see that like jet winning everybody knew that was a possibility like jason anderson if he could fucking find 2022 jason anderson getting second not a surprise chase on the new bike third not a surprise eli coming back from an achilles tendon injury that takes a lot of people out especially late into their careers not a surprise so it's like okay cool like this is just it's it's not taking away credit from anybody that did anything, not just Jet, anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. It's just, we've seen crazy shit. Like, A1 is is wild. Like, Kenny's won A1 before and then just never won the rest of the year. So, I, I think a lot of these guys can pull things as far as confidence, because we know that that's what these guys like to do. But I also think a lot of guys know that, like, this is A1, wild shit happens. Like, this is not what the whole year is going to look like. Like, you're not going to have... Dylan's not going to be fifth every round. AP's not going to be fourth every round. Like, Define kinda, the whole year, like next year or no? I mean, like the whole. <laughs> it just I don't I don't see it. I don't, Jet's not going to win every race. Like Jason's not going to get second. You know, Chase is not going to get third. Eli's not going to be running around in ninth every round. Yeah, like plain and simple. So I mean, I agree with all that, but Jet will win every race but that's beside the point so Whatever. anyway now one thing that i didn't have on my bingo card and i don't think anybody had on their bingo card hunter lawrence fails to qualify yeah that was a shock that was nuts that was a shock that um, was i don't even think that was on abide moto's bingo card there of things that were going to happen so we're so. already off to a good start with jake hoop's gonna be better than hunter <sighs> oh man dude uh, dude is... hunter got hunter got a little bit of a reality check man not to say that he wasn't gonna he was coming in thinking like oh you know i'm gonna do this and that but just things work differently in the 450 class, man. I mean, he, he got can't. he got freezed in the first corner of the heat race, which was not that's really it, his though. fault. Things I, are different I understand. in the 450 class. You know, you're you're not going to go down in the first turn in the 450 class like you did in the 250s and work your way back up to third. How much shit do you think Vince is getting? How much heat is he going to get online? I don't think that online? was Vince's fault, bro. I don't really think it was like either. Vince did normal. He got the start. He literally started crossing over to straighten out for that inside for the first turn. And Hunter pushed it in deep, and he had nowhere to go. But that's part of it. It's the yeah. first turn. Like It's not I like still, Vince just sawed off his front end. I still bet there's a lot of heat tomorrow, man. Well, that's just Vince. There's, a lot like of, there's going to be a lot of heat on Vince but Freeze. But hey, if you're Hunter, don't get a fucking shit start. Don't get a shit jump. He got a shit start in the LCQ, like, that's too. Like, that's, that's also on Hunter. Yeah, like... like to be really honest, LCQ was not great for him. So I don't, I don't know, man. Like I definitely think that he's put himself in a, a shitty predicament going into next weekend in San Fran. Um, but he got a reality check that this is not the two fifties anymore. I don't go just you're not going down to the first turn or waking your way back up to third. The thing is, it's just poor Hunter too because not only does that happen today, yesterday he crashes in in press day. I mean, it's just. It's typical Hunter Lawrence luck. Hey, it's just not good. And remember what I said in the main in the main show, the preview show. How was he going to deal with mentally mm -hmm. if things started snowballing? Yep. And I know it's the first round, 
but that's a big mental thing to overcome right off the bat. That is, and what and and what's going to happen what next happens weekend? What happens next weekend? Like if next weekend doesn't go great either, then where do we go? I'm just where do we go you, man, here? That was the one thing I was concerned with him yeah. is, is what was going to happen, how he was going to handle. Well, don't things. worry, the internet answered that, and you're fucking stupid, and he's mentally tough, so you're just an idiot. And apparently, right off the bat, I was already right right away because like he didn't fucking make the main. Yeah, so. so we'll see. Um, yeah, so like you said, Ando uh, definitely looked better. Coop looked, I think he was one of the surprises of the night. I I would have to say because. I mean, I didn't see Cooper Webb battling for the podium no, and no. Rem running around in second place. I honestly place. think that had he not got down on the hip jump, he was probably going to get Ando for second. He was going to stuff Ando because yeah. he went up the first time and was kind of nice about it, and then Ando rode him high he was the next pull a one. Ken yeah, on Jason Anderson. Yeah, so uh, that was a surprise, and I really think that even though the night didn't end with a podium. Um, it's something a lot of these guys got to be worried about, especially with the way SMX ended and the way yeah. Paris went and all the talk of Coop being out of shape. And we've seen it, that he was a little overweight and, you know, this and that and moving to the team. And is the bike that good? For, you know, was it a smart move? Dude, for him to come out and I know he got, you know, he's done well at A1 in the past second. What was the second last year or whatever? Yeah. Like with all the talk that ended 2023, yep. for him to come out, get a heat race win, you know, fend off jet all the way down to the finish and then run top three and probably get second. That's if I'm everybody else, I'm like, ooh, I'm like, okay, like, yeah, that's maybe not, not great. Like, you want to talk about because Coop just gets better as the season goes on, man. You want to talk about reading something into A1 and like after A1, the guy. who's one guy. who's the guy that's gonna do something that that right there is like, uh oh, because if he would have went out and got 10th, I'd have been like, ooh, I'm like, this yeah. is just to end off 2023, but for mm-hmm. him to come out and ride the way he did and then be fast in practice, too, that's something mm-hmm. that we didn't mention either, yeah. If I'm everybody else, like I'm here to tell you, if he keeps this ball rolling and when we go East Coast, because obviously we're going East Coast a lot earlier this year. Yep. I'm if I'm everybody else, I'm like, hmm, that's not a good sign. Nope, not Coop, at all. Coop is that one guy that he's got that dog in him where it's like, oh, yep. okay. All right, let's uh, move it on 250s here. So Phil's bike has issues, doesn't even get to race, which just sucks for Phil. Handled that very professionally, though, I thought, with the interview there, talking about what was going on, you know, new parts, yeah. working on the bike, and just shit happens. Yeah. Which is 100% the case. Um, now, outside of that... You've got RJ wins. That was probably, to be honest, probably the least shocking thing I saw all night. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that we called RJ for a win, I but we like definitely put. Well, we put him as one of the guys. I might have called him for a win on Johnny's show yesterday, but okay. I don't remember if well, I I'm said that or not. Well, I'm talking about our show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, he did, he did beat Jet straight up last year. He mm-hmm. gave Jet fits. He didn't really battle him tooth and nail like they claim, but still, he like he was a threat to Jet. You know, at certain times last year, and like, hey man, like he's got to get it done. He just, you know, he's got that two-year contract that he signed. Like, we know that he's gonna he's gonna get a shot at least for a year on the 450. Yep, he's already proven himself that he rides the 450 well. Um, he's got to get it done, and you know, this is a better spot than ever because there's nobody left in the class that is a previous champ. You know, he's, got a, he's dealing with a lot of dudes that we've said can win at any time, but are very up and down. It's like who's gonna make the least mistakes. Which is a lot of what we saw tonight, and and I think that's a that's a that's a duh moment, but like it's really a duh, like it's really obvious with this group of guys in yep. this coast, um, and he's off to a good start, man. Like we know that speed has never been his issue. It's just where is he's at when, you know, when he's really got to think his way through a race, mm-hmm. and man, when you get a start and you start pulling away early, like you don't really have to think. You just got to not hit the deck, and man, he he rode good. Yeah, he rode he rode really well. Now speaking of speed, there, <laughs> Juju's got it, and he's got, got his starts too. Hey man, did I not call that in, in our show? Like, he's got starts and speeds, bro. It's uh, that dude. Was, he's good. What a night! That, he is I good. Mean, impress, most impressive ride of the night. Oh. Him. He did fade at the end. And that's there. what I called for. Is like, how is he going to do mentally at the end of the main? But First I'm, race. I'm here to tell you though. Once he gets that unlock and he gets used to doing this consistently. Yeah. Dude, he's a podium threat every weekend. I, I will tell you what, I like the swagger a little bit too of him basically saying, like, you know, most of the guys don't come out and ride their first race at A1 because they want the extra time, so they wait for the East Coast. And we were just like, screw it, we're gonna do it. Yeah. I like they I like they put that out there. They he's like, look, I'm the only like he's the only rookie out there. Yeah. 
So, I mean, yeah, I mean, and, and that's an, and I kind of said, even though we're getting to a different coast, like if I'm Dax on the East Coast, yeah, I'm like, dude, that's a big confidence boost for him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, I think he's only. I think the biggest thing is is obviously the speed, the the cardio, and the starts are there. It's just mentally being able to stay focused for 15 because that's something he's yeah. Not to deal and with. if he can keep it off the deck, I think he'll only get yeah. better as the year yeah. goes on. And here. dude, he's gonna man. I I really feel, I feel that after the first five. When we take that break and come back for a round, it's going to be the total of round seven at that point. Yeah. Dude, he's going to be battling for podiums, I really believe. I think so, too. If he's already this good right away when yeah. the shit is not figured out. Yep. So. Uh, and probably the most puzzling ride of the night, we'll say, Levi Kitchen gets start gets the start he's up front and then he kind of fades and then he gets past and then he looks like he's fading but then he's back and then he ends up on the box but man that was strange i don't know what to make of it I, like i'm gonna have to process it and tomorrow when we film the main show we'll talk obviously more in depth on this stuff but but i think we gotta agree though he had to beat max in that race. he had to yeah he needed to do what he, he did it, the fact that he beat max and still got on the box I think is a plus yeah. because I'm here to tell you because Max caught him past him. If he never would have got Max back, that would have been a, like yeah. I've been going. I've been like, oh Levi, like yep. nah, and just you're just picking up where you left off in 2023. Yep. So the fact that he got Max back, he dropped him. Joe ran it on him. Joe probably would have had him had they had another lap, but whatever. He got on the box. Like you can take something from that. Like you went through some you adversity. You persevered. You pulled it back. You got back on the box. Yep. And it's it's something he can pull from this going into San Fran next week and be like, okay, like I just I need to clean up a few things, which is always what we feel like is wrong with Levi. Yeah. Um Yeah, man, like that's the only thing I can say about him and and same thing, like talk about a little bit more tomorrow after a you know, rewatch or whatever, but um yeah, it's the only thing I really say about him is, is like, mm-hmm. hey, he needed to get Max back, and the fact he did, it's like, okay, cool. Yep. Yep. So um I don't think there's anything else we really need to speak on here um it was less eventful than what i think could have been i mean obviously there's tons of stuff that could have happened and there's more stuff that did happen that we'll talk about but obviously this is just a quick reaction video here uh we're gonna probably do this the first four rounds here too um up through up till we get to Detroit, and then we'll kind of reassess there. Because, like I said, I'm going. If you didn't watch the live, I am going to the Detroit race. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to do live for qualifying because I'll actually be in the stadium. I don't know if I'll do a reaction video afterwards because it would basically just be on my phone, like whatever. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but thanks everybody for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to uh, uh, let us know in the comments if you guys like doing these quick reaction videos or if you think this is just a waste of time and we shouldn't do them whatever and uh yeah we're gonna like i said this is not this is not our wrap-up show this is a reaction video the wrap-up will be when we film our main show tomorrow which would be sunday uh when we normally film it and then that'll come out on tuesday so this is just a quick reaction video to get something out to to talk about some of the major points that we saw in the race and now we'll do what we normally do, which is we'll go read the vital forms and look through Instagrams and TikToks and YouTubes and everything else in between and get all the information we can. And then we'll come back tomorrow with that for the main show. So thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see y'all on the main show on Tuesday.